Welcome back to the Drink Stuff channel. This is the video that everyone looks forward to. It's the I Make Your Cocktails. Uh, this is all part of the Cocktail Club last month, December 2022, was uh, featuring Mon in Tangerine La Fouille Puree, essentially. So we've had six submissions from you guys, just six. Numbers down, don't know why. Was the flavor not to your liking? Why were numbers down? Anyway, six submissions. The winner, not, ju not judged by me. I don't know who's actually coming in to judge now, but you all have already seen it because I'll have cut it in. Uh, but that's at the end of the video. So stay tuned to that blind tasting. They don't know which cocktail's which. They're just gonna judge it purely on taste. And the winner gets a flavor of their choice. So six recipes, let's dive in. So recipe number one is from last month's, it's from November's winner, and this is Andy Barham, and he's called this the Orange Tango Cocktail. So uh, we've got them all here, so I'm gonna run through this. It's gonna be bottle kill on this, I think. Uh, 45 mil of uh, JJ Whitley's pine, uh, peach and apricot vodka. I haven't used this for ages, I think. Uh, so 45 mil of that. Liquor 43, 15 mil vanilla uh, liqueur. So one five of that. Lovely jubbly. Uh, tangerine puree, we've gone for 20 mil of uh, Mon in Tangerine Le Fouille. Then next up, we've gone for some lemon juice. Again, 15 mil of lemon juice. Uh, I've got some, I've actually got some freshly squeezed orange juice here. Uh, of course, I forgot to bring some in, so I'll juice some orange juice there. Uh, so 30 mil of freshly squeezed orange juice. I have strained it to get rid of the bits though this time. Don't know why, but there we go. Uh, so that's gonna get shaken up and topped up with Sprite. So good hard fast shake. Andy wants, a, uh, what does he want? 75 mil of Sprite. So I'll, I'll measure this out. 75 mil of Sprite, two litre bottles. Haven't got any cans here. There's 50, and I'll do, well, it was actually just under, but I'll do, there we go. So 75 mil of Sprite, uh, and then we're just gonna strain it into a highball glass. So this is Andy Barham's, what's he called it? Orange Tango Cocktail. And there we go. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do differently. I'm just gonna sit all these to one side, and then I'm gonna have a little taste all at the end uh, to give you my opinion, and then we'll cut in to, um, to the judging. Right then, recipe number two, you can see this one's a bit more, a bit more technical, a few more ingredients. This is from Nick, <laughs> and, and he's called this the water shortage. Uh, for any of you that were living in Hampshire, <laughs> just before Christmas, my heart goes out to you, it really does. Uh, but those that know will know exactly what this is uh, kind of related to. I shouldn't laugh, it's not funny, but uh, yeah. Go, go and Google if you don't know what I'm talking about. So we've got quite a few ingredients here, and I'm gonna have to do a bit of adjusting on the fly, which we'll, which we'll talk about. Anyway, so Nick, first up with uh, Veritas. Uh, not my favorite rum, but he knows I've got it. Uh, so 60 mil, this might be bottle kill. Hang on, let's just do 40 and a 20. This is a blend of Jamaican and uh, Barbados rum, so white rum. Uh, we're next up, we're going maraschino. No, we're not, we're going lime juice. I'm gonna do it in his order here. Uh, 30 mil of lime juice. Three zero. We're then going 22 and a half mil of Monin uh, Tangerine Puree. And now we're going for the maraschino. It's not a bottle that I use a lot of, but it is really, really tasty. Um, and this is actually coming out to play on my channel in a couple of weeks as well. So uh, 15 mil of maraschino. It's basically um, a, a very vibrant cherry liqueur without it being sickly sweet like... Um, like the other sort of cherry brandies essentially that we would use. So that's kind of what maraschino is. It's like quite delicate, but bold in cherry flavor, if that makes sense. So we've got that. Now, cinnamon syrup, uh, we can do this. 15 mil, one five of cinnamon syrup. Now, this is where I have to do the adjusting because I know full well how this comes out. Now, what Nick has asked for is ODK ginger. Now, uh, for those of you that have been watching this channel for a long time, will know full well uh, that the ODK stuff, I always say, is amped up in volume. And I swore blind that I had a bottle in here and I don't know where it's gone, I can't find it. And I've definitely not got it at home because I've got the morning stuff at home. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of go with this and fly. He's done five mil, so I'm just gonna do five mil of that. But just to amp it very, very slightly, I brought in uh, some of the Giffard ginger. So this is a little bit of alcohol, but I'm not gonna do too much. Uh, and here, just about half a bar spoon, just to give it that little, hopefully that little bit of extra kind of 
ginger oomph that we get from the ODK syrup. Uh, so we've got that, we've got that. He wants pimento bitters. Again, I don't have pimento bitters, but what I'm gonna do is uh, just kind of do half a bar spoon of the Giffard piment in there. Now this is quite feisty, so this will add, I'm pretty convinced we'll kind of do the same job there. So we've got that, we've got that, we've there. The only last thing we've got to do is the, uh, what's he put? He's put nine drops of Miracle Foamers. So we're going nine, nine drops. This is gonna be foamy, isn't it? Right, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna strain this into one of my favorites, kind of a cross between, it's called a Mai Tai glass. It's, it shouldn't be a Mai Tai glass. I don't know what Libby were thinking calling it a Mai Tai glass. It's like um slightly bigger Nick and Nora uh, I call it like a tiki nick and nor. It's slightly bigger, but it's like perfect sort of side daiquiri glasses for them. So there we go. Double, double strain. And the garnish for this would have been the maraschino cherry. Uh, I can't wait to uh, try that. I think that's potentially right out my street, but we'll set that to one side and try it at the end. Right, so recipe the three. Next up, we have Darren uh, over in Ireland, another former winner, uh, and he's called this Merry Christmas, you filthy tangerine. So we'll start off with, we'll get this done first. Uh, I've slightly over poured, but I'll leave a bit in there. 25 mil of Monin tangerine. By the way, all these recipes are in the Discord uh, channel. So come and join us in there. It's in the cocktail submissions thread in Discord. So not my Discord, the drink stuff Discord. Uh, so 25 mil of this followed by uh, a 50 ml double bubble of my favorite vanilla vodka, uh, JJ Whitley, just out to up vanilla there. Uh, Aperol 15, what's he gone for? 15 ml of Aperol, just to give it sort of like a, a bitter, slightly bitter kind of vibe to it. Uh, I was searching high and low for this, the Monin uh, blood orange syrup. I knew I had some, I couldn't find it for love nor money. It was sitting right there, wasn't it? <laughs> so uh, 15 ml of blood orange syrup, so the eagle eyes will have kind of think, hang on a minute, that's swapped, that's why. Uh, so we've got that, we've got 15 ml of lemon juice. So one five of lemon. Uh, and then we've gone for 10, 10 ml of ODK. It's my stash I brought in from home. Uh, 10 ml of Orchard. Orchard, get me, I'm gonna say it properly. It's my New Year's resolution. I'm gonna say it properly in every video of those two. Orchard, uh, 10 ml. The joke's worn a bit thin now, isn't it? Um, <laughs> almond bitters, we have got two dashes of almond bitters. One, two, and then he's called for an egg white. Well, you know, we don't faff around with egg whites here. I have got some other stuff at home that I'm kind of playing about with, um, but I'm gonna do the foamers here. So uh, I'm gonna go, s I'm gonna split it different, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will humor him though, because he's put, um, Dry shake and then wet shake. So I will, I will go through all that. We'll dry shake it without ice to create the foam as you would do in egg white. And then you wet shake it with ice to kind of chill it down, all right? So I'll do all that. And then I'm gonna double strain it. And just so I know, I've just noticed on here that this is kind of separating off. And I've never seen that happen before. And I can't think what would make Nick's separate off like that in there. Can only be the foamers for some reason, but I don't know. We'll see what happens after a couple of minutes with this. Uh, but anyway, this is Darren's Merry Christmas, you filthy tangerine. There we go. And Darren wanted to garnish that with a dehydrated grapefruit. So again, we'll see that. I'm just going to keep my eye on that, see what happens. Right, I am 100% going to remake Nick's because something weird has gone on with that. And I don't know whether it's the ingredients. I, I didn't know whether it was actually the foamers, but the foamers are sticking to Darren's quite well. Um, so I don't actually know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually make it again and see what happens after I've done all these. But next up, uh, we have Liam. I was going to say never the bride, always the bridesmaid. But Liam, never, never the groom, always the best man, bless him. He's entered every single month. Who knows? I've got my fingers crossed for you this month. So Liam has entered the orange brulee, and I'm really sorry as well. There is one ingredient I haven't got here. I was convinced I had. Uh, it's the orange bitters. And I didn't bring them in from home. I was convinced I had the bottle here and it, I don't know why. Uh, anyway, 20 mil of the Monin Tangerine. I will say there's plenty of orange in here um, and I was gonna compensate with um, Cointreau and then I realized there was Cointreau already in it anyway. So hopefully the bitters shouldn't matter too much in this cocktail. And then next up, he's actually called for that specific brandy, which we've got here as well. Tesco, it's pretty good brandy actually, to be fair for the price. Uh, so what are we doing? We're doing 45 mil of Tesco's EXO brandy. 
Uh, so 45 mil of that. We're then going over to a Disarono, 22 and a half mil of Disarono. Like a lovely sort of almondy uh, liqueur. Hopefully this isn't bottle kill. It's perfect. Oh, just a little bit left in there. Uh, the Quantro we have got. Where is it? 15 mil of Quantro or triple sec. Uh, then we've got cinnamon syrup. Cinnamon, cinnamon. Uh, 10 mil of cinnamon syrup. And then the final ingredients, which you won't be able to see, uh, is actually cream. And I have actually got single cream here. Not milk. I've, I've actually got single cream. You'll see it from the pour. Uh, and that's measured out already. 30 mil of single cream. See, you can tell it's cream this time, look. Right, so after a good shake. Oh, frosty. Uh, going to double strain this. Now, I am sort of semi going to garnish this up because the garnish he wants will actually alter the kind of taste of the cocktail. You'll see why in a sec. So double strain uh, this. This is, what's this called? The orange brulee. And then the garnish you wanted is freshly grated nutmeg. Now nutmeg obviously gives off an aroma and a taste as well. So I won't put that much on here. Um, but the other thing you wanted was a dehydrated orange, which I won't bother with. Uh, so a little sprinkling of nutmeg gives you that aroma and a little bit of a uh, little bit of the taste as well. So that is Liam's. Good luck, Liam. Right, just before I move on to recipe number five, Nick's is really bugging me and I don't know why. So, um, well, I know why it's bugging me, but I don't know why it's done that. I, I've redone it, as you can see, bottle kill uh, virtually on the Veritas, um, but I've not used the foamers for some reason. The foamers are absolutely fine because Darren's is sticking. Um, so I just kind of want to see uh, how this comes out. And I'm going to put it into this glass. I might I might reserve it up into that glass because I do like that glass. But I just want to see how this sits. So this is Nick's um, recipe. I've forgotten what it's called now. Where's it going? I've scrolled down, ready for Pam's. Um, but this is take two for Nick. So just keep your eye on this, see what happens. I can't think of any other reason why that is separated like that has. Anyway, so um, we'll sit that, we'll sit that there and there. So moving on. Uh, to recipe number five. This is Pam, uh, another one from my own personal membership community. Uh, she's called this the Tangerine Twist. So I'm not going to make it in that, am I? Uh, I'm going to make it, where's it gone? There it is. Going to make it in that. So we are going for uh, 25 ml of Monin Tangerine Puree. Cool, there we go, lovely. Right, and then we're moving on to this again. Of course, there's still tiny bits of this there. I haven't used these for years. Uh, 45 mil of rhubarb vodka. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to replace these because we've got syrups and stuff here. But they're, they're fun to have around. Um, 15 mil of Giffard ginger. Now, I do think Pam's... Oh, I don't know. I think Pam, when she might have made this, has got the new lower ABV ginger. I don't know. Uh, but this is the higher ABV ginger they've done there. We've done that. 15 ml of lemon juice. And she does get massive bonus points from me because this is my favourite syrup of the moment. I love this. I've loved this for about three or four months now, probably longer. Four or five months. Uh, 10 ml of Monin Winter Spice. It's lovely. Got uh, ginger, cinnamon, pepper, nutmeg, clove in there. Oh. I don't, I don't think they should call it winter spice. I think they should just call it sort of spice because it's phenomenal. And then we're gonna double strain this into a coupe glass. There's a lot of martini coupe glasses going on this month. So double strain that. And this is Pam's uh, Tangerine Twist. Uh, she's not mentioned a garnish on here. I'd, want, I'd go color contrast. I'd go for a little sprig of mint or something on top there. And again, just before I crack on, you can instantly see Nix is now holding. I don't know. It can only be the foamers have reacted for, to something bizarre in that. But I'm going to get rid of that. In fact, let's get rid of that now. Uh, so that is Nick's proper submission there. There's nothing wrong with the foamers because Darren's is holding pretty well. So I genuinely have no idea what happened there. But we've got Nix there without the foamers, which won't alter the taste. Just give it sort of a little bit of a white foam on top. Anyway, your final submission. Uh, this month is from Claire, Enchanted Claire. She's called this St. Claire Mints. I like what she's done here. So we're going to start off in this direction. Uh, 20 mil of mandarin. Um, she's called mandarin. Tangerine. Uh, it's got, is that what it is? It's got mandarin underneath. We'll let her off. Um, 20 mil. I've overpoured slightly. So nearly all of that. And then she is properly raiding my uh, rum shelves at home. This might be bottle kill. 40, uh, have I got this right, Ray? Yeah, 45 mil of Bounty Solution. 
uh, Ramsa 45 mil of dark ram. There's a tiny little bit left for me. Hechicera, uh, Colombian uh, Solera aged ram. Uh, it's a 20 mil of Hechicera. There we go. Right, um, Aperol, 20 mil of Aperol. Give it that little bit of bitterness. 2-0 Aperol. Um, we've done the tangerine. 20 mil of uh, lemon juice. 2-0. And then the final ingredient for now is the Angostura bitters. Obviously, we don't shake the lemonade. So two, da two dashes. Two, two, two dashes of Angostura bitters. And then good hard fast shake and then we'll top out with the Sprite. And Claire specifically wants 100 mil, hence why I've gone for that bigger glass uh, there. So 100 mil of um, lemonade, did she put lemonade, she put Sprite? I've gone lemonade, I've gone Sprite anyway. So yeah, 100 mil of lemonade. And then the garnish for this would have been a mint sprig. So uh, I'm just gonna, you could have, actually to be fair, you could have done a shake and dump, but um, into a like a tiki mug, tiki vessel, but I'm gonna strain that in there. So this is Claire's. Uh, St. Clair Mints. So, right, thoughts and opinions. Um, for me, there would have been a hands down winner, but it is a, just a little bit too strong. And I know that's uh, kind of a little bit hypocritical for me because I'm like, I do go more booze, more booze, but with booze brings balance and you have to balance out. For me, Liam's would have absolutely nailed it had it not been as strong. You've got to think, uh, I've scrolled past it now, but you've got to think there was what, nearly 70 mil of um, booze in there. And that's quite a lot for a creamy cocktail. I think if you'd have dialed that back to 30 ml of brandy, I think whoever's coming, I don't know who's coming in here to judge, but I think whoever comes in to judge would have hands down picked that one. Uh, for me, I am discounting those two at the end, although whoever's coming in to judge may pick that one, may pick that one. Um, they're, they're just, I, I'm sorry, I've, uh, Andy's and I forget who that is now, Claire's, sorry. Um, it just, it's, it's too much mixer. That's all it is, too much mixer. Um, probably 50 mil in that one, a 50, 75 tops in that one is just too much mixer. You, you, you can't taste, it just loses all balance in there. Uh, again, that one's not balanced to me. That's a bit too uh, a bit too thick and gloopy on that. Just needs something a little bit extra, maybe a touch of extra sweetness in there, a touch of another syrup, or uh, maybe just a little bit of lemon juice, just to kind of balance it out. So it, for me, it's actually between these two. I, depending on which group comes in, um, or which, uh, I think I know one, but I don't know the other two that are coming in. It's between that one and that one for me. And I know Darren's sitting there smugly going, oh yeah. Darren. However, for me, this one, I, I love this. This for me is perfect. This is exactly the kind of sort of cocktail I want to drink. I get all those different flavor combinations sort of bouncing at me. The ginger's there, the chili's there. I do get the orange, but it's not in your face. It is the less thick and gloopy one out of the lot because there is all the liquid in there to balance it out. So that for me is my winner. I would go that one. But just depending who comes in there, as I say, cut the booze down on that, that's a winner. But I've got a sneaky suspicion. It depends, it could be that one, it could be that one. Everyone's been getting my alcoholic in the, in the office, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone knows you're an alcoholic. <laughs> No, not a chance. Anna's um, resenting every single second of this. I have a New Year's resolution. Yeah. <laughs> this is Amaretta oh. Sour, no? Uh, no, not Amaretta Sour. It tastes it does taste like... a bit sour, you know. Mm. Uh, there's no... Oh, yes, that's what I thought. It's like... Oh, I, I know what you're tasting. No. What? Have I got to do like top three or...? No, no, we want top one. What's Anna's? Top one. Between oh, those, two. Between those two. Right, okay. Right, let, let Laura come in and that's have a little. Favorite. That's your favourite. Mm -hmm. Is that is that of this one and maybe this one now? Yeah. Go on, let Laura have okay. let Laura have a little go of all of them so we can. Well, so I'm trying not to give people my germs. I feel already drunk. Hey, what? <laughs> oh, that one is good. I thought you were like a hardcore drinker. This is a light way like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was nice. Quite strong, though. Yeah. Mm. Definitely got a kick to it. 
No, I think I'm with you two on this one. No. No, I think that one is. Yeah, that one's not involved. Like, this one's not involved. I can't. <laughs> yeah. They're really tasty. That one's good. So we're going. We're, we're all three. I think this all one's three set on that. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Is it? Is it Liam? Wow. Did he win it? Oh, no. no. Is it Andy again? <sighs> he the smug. He's sitting there and he's like, yes. Yeah. Like, <sighs> number four. <laughs> <laughs> number three. Which one was Liam's? Cream one. Oh, uh, the cream one. Yeah. So, every, so every week he's winning this guy. Yeah, he's it's won Darry. several it's times. It's Darren, so again. Irish Darren. Yeah. He's up there. With <laughs> I think, I think he's, he's banned. I picked that he's one. He's banned. That was, that was me, hands down. I this think one. we should yeah. exclude him from the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's not fair if he's just keep winning it. So down the camera, well done, Darren. <laughs> well done, Darren. <laughs>